Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Alexei Bardeen, and uh, the team of my presentation, the temperature control methods for the heat supply system of buildings and structures. Problem. Testing and controlling algorithms for their temperature conditions in the heat supply systems of buildings and structure provide necessary information and, some and support uh, the control of the flows of the working medium in the heat load. This approach allows to monitor the distribution of heat flows in real time. The purpose of controlling this process in, is to create a mathematical model to determ determine the time interval for restarting the heat flow control algorithm in the heat supply system with uh, dependent connections to the heat source on the basis of which uh, discretization interval of the heat supply system state probing time should be obtained. This approach is accompanied by appropriate microprocessor support according to the smart home scheme. Uh, the task was set to use the differential heat balance equation to achieve the a fermented goal. It is the expected to use the dependencies of the functioning of the heating system in stationary and um, quasi-stationary modes, taking into account uh, transient process in the event of start shutdown or emergence stoppage. Next slide. Introduction. Improving the methods of management and control of the distribution of heat flows in the most relevant task in the plans for the implementation of government sanctioned program of the Russian Federation in the field of energy preservation and energy efficiency for the period up to 2030. Let's up, consider one of the control options for a heat supply system with a dependent connection to heat uh, networks. Figure 1 uh, shown, uh, shows a diagram of the equipment and devices um, required for the functioning of a smart home. HCMCT at the uh, heat consumption metering and control unit uh, containing a heat meter with a set of primary measuring instruments, a controller TCB, a set of elements of the heating system, a control valve V1 with an actuation mechanism M1 a circulation pump N1 with a frequency converter M2 outdoor air temperature sensors, indoor air temperature sensors, and other parts of the system shown in figure one. Let's let us consider a mathematical model of heat and mass transfer for the case shown in figure one. Let us assume that in the area under concession a cylindrical pipe, there is a continuous medium in the form of a heated liquid in which the main transfer characteristics are continuous functions of time and coordinates. To solve non stationary problems of forced, of forced con convective heat transfer. It is common to use the differential equation of heat transfer in a medium moving at a constant speed. Here you can see the equation. Where T is the heat carrier temperature uh, and uh, 
here you can see another uh, another parts of this equation you can see it on this slide in order to determine determine qv and q it uh, should be assumed that qv it's something like the same zero and the q value is determined by the formula you can see it here this is the formula 2 where t is the heat carrier hot water temperature is the indoor air temperature degrees d2 is the effective diameter of the pipeline is the heat loaded pipeline circuit length m is the heat transfer coefficient of the pipeline circuit to the heat load and the kp value is determined by the formula here you can see this formula where a1 is the coefficient of heat transfer from the heat carrier to the pipeline a2 is the coefficient of heat transfer from the pipeline to the heat load uh, and this is, is the pipeline wall thickness m is the heat coefficients uh, m is the heat uh, conduction coefficients of the pipeline wall watts per meter degrees celsius materials and methods for problem solution let us consider two modes of the heat supply to the facility stationary and non-stationary in the stationary mode the heat supply of the circuit of the heat load of the movement of the medium across only along the ox axis here you can see it on the figure two flow rate and temperature of the medium passing through the value v1 are constant the circulation pump n1 does not function in this case in equation one assuming that qv is near the zero we have we have this equation you can see it here number four taking into account two and three we get this another slide in the known stationary mode the parameters of the heat load hot water temperature destiny etc in and uh, arbitrarily cross sections change over time and in this case the operation of the circulation pump and one is blocked after eliminating partial the right is we have these equations taking into account two we get this after the substination we get this and as a result we get this expression 9 is especially relevant for transient process caused by a sudden change in temperature Tn or T122 in case of a possible accident of starting or shutdown of the heating system. Let us transform 9 in a differential, in a differential uh, equations corresponding, corresponding to the first order lag where k is near 1 is the amplification coefficients t is the time constant the transfer function w1 can be ex expressed as follow where p is the experiment experimentally determined parameter the corresponding transitions function h and by t can be expressed as follows the pure delay transfer function w2p uh, taking into account the pure delay element can be expressed as follows where t by d is the pure delay times s from 10 to 30 from 10 to 13 it follows that the control of the heat supply process can be carried out taking into account the sequential 